The final season of the Stars hit drama series High Town premieres this Friday, and season three of the show is set on Cape Cod, telling the story of a missing woman who turns up dead on an island. Lead stars of the series Monica Raymond and James Badge Dale play the lead detectives who investigate the murder, and both Monica and James spoke with our Courtney Cole earlier today about what viewers can expect this season. So I want to talk to you guys about how about the roles that you play in terms of the lead detectives investigating the murder. This is based in Cape Cod, so you know we love when we have storylines, movies, shows that are based here at home. People feel like they can relate to it more, so we're really glad that you could have a discussion with us this morning. Talk to us about season two, right? It left fans on the edges of their seats. So what should they expect in this season? Season three, it, we begin like on this fast bullet train. It's explosive. What I love so much about season three is that whatever you think is going to happen, it's the opposite. Like there's surprises coming from left and right. Um, I play Jackie Quinones, and like you said, um, I'm trying to like lead this investigation, and I have this mission of um, wanting to solve the crime of these murders of these girls around the Cape and these missing girls. So I'm obsessed with that, but I'm kind of a hot mess too. So <laughs> we get to see Jackie like trying to get back on the horse, trying to stay sober while she's also trying to help these girls. Um, which is a lot of fun to play, <laughs> a little a little trippy, <laughs> but it's a blast. Absolutely. Now, I do want to know from both of you, I know you mentioned a little bit your character is a hot mess. What has it been like to play these characters, right? Because I, I think, you know, I mean, I have never been an actor, so, so touche, a lot of hard work goes into that. But you always have to figure out how to get into that character, right? So you guys are our, our lead detectives in a heavy storyline, but it's also still got to be fun to be able to, to play the detectives. Tell me a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we have a good time. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it, the fun part is playing complicated characters, you know, it's good to be a hot mess, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, uh, you get to push it, you get to push the boundaries of that. And, um, you know, this is, this is the last season for us. For, for these characters. So we wanted to push it even harder and kind of drive towards this ending that, that hopefully there's, a, there's some kind of truth waiting for these characters at the end of the line. Yeah, and like playing them too, and I'm curious if, if the fans feel this way, but sometimes like you love to hate them and then you hate to love them. That's like how, that's how dynamic they are. And um, it can be, they're very, because they're so flawed, they're, uh, frustrating. <laughs> They're frustrating to yeah. play. They're frustrating to watch. But everybody's just trying to survive, too. You know, this is a game about survival and in, in the middle of this world of crime and drama and murder. But those are always the best characters, right? Because you love them so much, you hate them. So you're coming back yeah. because you're like, I cannot believe this happened. But I want to know what happens next. So you're right. I know. I want to I wanna <laughs> know, know what they do. <laughs> so... Viewers and fans will be like, oh, the final season. You hate when one of your favorite shows has to come to an end. What would you say has been, um, each of you, your most memorable experience in these seasons here on this show? Mm. Oh. Oh. You know, I, it was my first time going to Provincetown, Massachusetts. I've never really spent any time in the Cape. So this was like my intro introduction to Massachusetts. So thank you for having me. So I think like, <laughs> What probably one of the best memories I have is is going to P-Town um, being we, we filmed in season one. You'll you'll see some of that come back is this party vibe at the carnival that happens at Provincetown. That was the first time for me. So I loved getting to know P-Town and being in that part of the world. It's really beautiful there. It, it's amazing. I was going to say the same thing. It's like you stole it. It's like you yeah. read my mind, <laughs> as you always do. Um, you know, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, it's such a special place in the world. And, and um, it has a very specific vibe yeah. and a very specific thing happening. And for us to be able to use that as as uh, as kind of our playground, you know, it was um, it, it was a great time. But also to tell a story that has, you know, relevance because the, you know, the opioid ep epidemic is, it's real. It's real. And, um, you know, these stories need to be told. Absolutely. Now you just have to promise us that you will come back.
because now that you now that we know that you like our part of the world, you got to come back. That's that's all that we ask. I can't wait. I cannot wait to come back. Hey, we're not far. It's like, what, 120 miles on the I-95? We're like right down the yeah, road. Yeah, we're just in New York. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing is no excuses. All right, so you guys are going to come back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I took that. Now, my producer's like, Courtney, you got to rap. So let me make sure I ask you this one last question. We know this season is going to end with a bang because we know how last season ended. No spoilers. No spoilers, I know. Mm. Any surprises, though, that you can tell us about this season? Mmm, surprises we can Surprise. tell you about. You know who I am very excited, his storyline is this guy over here. I think Ray. What did, who? You, you like, you're ballsy. Your, your character, he, hey, he's uh, Hey, but how much of that is Renee though? Yeah. Cause I'm, you know? Renee and Ray, they mm -hmm. kind of, ru they run this season. They this, run that town. This is, this is becoming something else that I never expected to become. But, I mean, all, all of the characters, we kind of weave in and out like that. So it builds. We build upon each other. Jackie's building upon Ray. Ray's hopping off and building upon Renee. And then you got Osito and our man Frankie Cuevas. A yeah. Maori coming in doing the a Maori work. Yeah, I, a, he's the best bad guy on TV. He yeah. is, he's right? Just like you, 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 you love him. You I'm can't Maori. help but love him. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's it's like a crazy cast, and uh, I can't I can't wait for you to see the finale. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's gonna take your breath away. Yeah, it, it was fun to do. It was fun to do for all of us. Awesome. Well, Monica James, thank you guys both so much. I know you guys are gonna talk to some other folks. But we had so much fun with you. You guys have great chemistry. So even if people weren't Thanks, watching Courtney. before, now now they're going to want to go check it out and see, like, okay, what's going on with them, right? I, I heard the Run This Town Jay-Z Rihanna play in my head as soon as you said that. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we gotta, people, have to, people have to get on this train. See so. what I did there? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys were awesome. Thanks for having us. Have Thank a you. wonderful rest of the day and the season. And like I said, you guys got to come back. We'll be we'll see you there. See you there. <laughs> Thank you guys.